let Garmin show you how to create a vehicle profile on your RV 890 or 1090. Routes are calculated based on your vehicle profile. Entering your vehicle's profile characteristics does not guarantee that your vehicle's characteristics will be accounted for in all route suggestions. Limitations may exist in the map data such that your RV cannot account for vehicle height, clearance, length, and weight in all route suggestions. Remember to always defer to all posted road signs and road conditions when making driving decisions. When you activate an RV vehicle profile, the device avoids restricted or impassable areas in routes based on the dimensions, weight, and other characteristics you entered for your vehicle. Ensure your vehicle profile is accurate if you are experiencing inefficient routes. To begin, select the vehicle profile from the home screen. Then, select the plus icon. Here, you can select your vehicle type. This is the same screen you would have seen during your initial setup. You would select Motorhome if you have a motorhome with a permanently attached camper. You would select Motorhome with Trailer if you have a motorhome pulling a trailer. You would select Vehicle with Trailer if you have a camper pulled behind a passenger vehicle. These vehicle profiles will provide turn-by-turn -turn directions using major roads allowing large vehicles. Once you select a vehicle type, you can set the trailer configuration if necessary. For this video, we will be selecting the Motorhome with Trailer Profile. Select your trailer configuration. Select Travel Trailer to add a camper pulled using a standard hitch. Select Boat Trailer to add a boat trailer pulled using a standard hitch. Select Trailer to add a trailer pulled using a standard hitch. If you previously chose Vehicle with Trailer as your profile, you will see an additional fifth wheel option to add a camper pulled using a fifth wheel hitch. After selecting your trailer configuration, you can set the characteristics of your vehicle. Enter your max height or select one of the preset options. Then enter the max width, followed by your trailer width. Next, enter your total length. This includes the length of the vehicle and any trailers combined. Then, enter your trailer length. Enter your total weight. The vehicle profile requires a total weight of at least 7,000 pounds or 3.5 tons to calculate RV appropriate routes. The device will not take the vehicle profile into consideration when calculating a route if the total weight is set below this minimum. Finally, enter your trailer weight. You can also enter information about onboard propane tanks. The device will use this information to avoid or provide warnings for any roads with propane restrictions your RV exceeds. Always follow posted regulations and road signs to ensure compliance with any existing propane restrictions. To begin, select the propane tank icon in the top right of the screen. Then, select Add Tank. Next, enter the weight or volume of the tank. You can select units to change the unit of weight or measurement. Select the back arrow when you have added all of your propane tanks. Lastly, select your vehicle profile to activate it. Then, read the warning and select Agree. The activated vehicle profile is indicated by an icon in the vehicle profile widget and the status bar. And that's it. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.